What's going on everyone? Today we are taking a look at the Narwhal S20 Pro. This is a 2-in-1 wet and dry vacuum that also has a built-in mop to clean your floors as well. Taking a look at some of the specs, this has a powerful suction power of 20,000 PA, a built-in mop with clean and dirty water tanks, smart automatic features, and is very lightweight at only 9 pounds. So I actually have their old S10 Pro model and that one by far has been the best mopping vacuum I've tried so far. I never thought I would be excited about mops and vacuums but when I saw there was an upgrade I just knew I had to get it. So taking a look at the S20 Pro overall the design is very similar to the older S10 Pro but as you can see this one is a matte gray whereas the other one is a glossy white. I really love how the white one looks, so when I saw this one online, I wasn't really sure about it. But now that I see it in person, it is definitely a very nice looking vacuum. It is a more muted look, but overall that helps it blend in with a kitchen a whole lot more compared to the older model. I'll be going over most of this later in the video, but if you would like to see all the differences and upgrades, I also made a chart so you can see what those all are as well. So just like the S10 Pro, you also have a very nice color screen which makes the vacuum look very premium as well as make it a lot easier to control. So right here on the screen it shows you your molds, cleaning status, and any problems or errors with the vacuum as well. So cycling through the molds, first off we have Smart Auto Mode which I'll cover later in the video. Turbo Mode. Turbo Mode. Quiet Mode. Quiet Mode. Suction Mode. Suction Mode which is vacuum only and turns off the water function and then it cycles back to smart mode. Inside the handle you have a new purple trigger which enables max enhancement mode for five times the cleaning performance. So if you have a bigger or more stubborn mess to clean, just hold down this button and this is gonna output more water to make the cleaning process much quicker and easier. So one of the upgrades on this model is auto detergent filling. You have the little compartment right here. They include detergent as well. You just pour this in, fill that up, and this is automatically going to disperse it for you. On the C10 Pro, you had to add it to the water tank yourself, which I honestly did not mind. But now this one automatically disperses it for you and lasts 40 days, so you need to refill it. According to the specs, the included detergent is also certified non-toxic and pet friendly. Coming down to the front, behind the roller, this has another upgrade, which is two rows of staggered comb teeth to automatically detangle 100% of hairs. The S10 only has one roll and I never see any hair stuck on the roller. So with dual rolls, this is definitely going to eliminate any chance of ever getting tangles. Coming to the back, you have your clean water tank. And I love how this is integrated into the vacuum itself. As during regular usage, you can't even tell that it's there. Right above that, you have your tank for your dirty water. And up top, you have your vacuum debris. As you can see, this does have a separation, so as you're vacuuming and mopping, all the hard and solid stuff will get stuck here on top, and then it'll separate all the water here at the bottom. This way, when it's time to clean it, it's a whole lot easier and less messy. I had an older mop and vacuum combo, which dumped everything into one tank, which was just a lot more messy to clean. Last but not least, this vacuum also includes a charging dock, so when you're done using it, you just plop it on there and it automatically charges it for you. Definitely a lot better than vacuums where you have an AC adapter where you have to plug it in every single time. All right, so I ran a few tests to see how the vacuum performs. A lot of these vacuum and mop combos struggle when it comes to vacuuming, but this one worked very well thanks to its 20,000 PA suction power, which is the highest on the market so far. This doesn't just vacuum and mop, but actually has a very impressive 20 newton meters of scrubbing power as well. I tested this out by putting some ketchup on the floor, letting it dry for two hours, and as you can see, it cleaned this up no problem at all. Compared to a regular mop, this also makes cleaning a lot easier as you don't have to be hunched over and scrubbing the ground. Instead, you can simply relax and let the vacuum do all the work for you. I have kids, so one thing that's very common in my house is spilled cereal. Normally, that would be a two-part job. You would have to sweep, then mop, but with this, you can do it all at once, which in the end is going to save you a lot of time and effort. And once again, as you can see, it cleaned this up very easily as well. This does have a self-cleaning mop. So unlike a regular mop, you're not spreading around dirty water. Instead, this continuously cleans the mop head to apply fresh and clean water as you move. I really wanted to test the limits of this vacuum. So I actually put some leftover pasta on the floor and let it dry for a few hours. I wasn't sure how it would do on this one, but without breaking the sweat, it also powered through and cleaned this no problem at all. 
All right, so using the vacuum, I wanna say this is definitely very easy to use. Similar to a lawnmower, this has built-in forward propulsion, so moving this around really takes no effort at all. You can even grab it with one finger and still move it around very easily. As you can see, the bottom does swivel, which makes it very easy to move around, and it even lays completely flat, allowing you to clean under furniture or any other tight spaces as well. As I said earlier, this has a smart auto mode. On this mode, it'll detect the amount of dirt and mess it's cleaning, and based on that, it'll automatically adjust the suction power and water usage for you. Definitely a cool option to have, as you can just leave it on auto, clean the house, and not have to worry about adjusting any settings. Another feature I really like on this is its ability to clean all the way to the edge of the wall. This does have dual edge cleaning, which allows you to clean within 0.04 inches of walls and furniture on either side of the vacuum. So when I got my first vacuum and mop combo, one thing I really hated was having to maintain it. Yes, I was saving time by not having to sweep and mop separately, but then I would have to take apart the machine and manually clean everything off which honestly was a pretty time consuming and tedious process. Because of this, the machine usually sat and collected dust, but fortunately this is not the case with this one as it does have some of the best self-cleaning features on any vacuum so far. So whenever you're done cleaning, all you gotta do is put it back on the dock, press this button right here, and the machine will automatically clean everything on the vacuum, including the roller, pipes, and the filter. This has what they call dirt sense technology that doesn't just put the vacuum through a time cleaning cycle, but actually cleans until the internal sensors detect that everything is fully clean. Another upgrade this has is hot iron drying. Compared to hot air drying that a lot of other vacuums have, this is much more quiet and also adds the benefit of fully sterilizing everything as well. Just like the cleaning cycle, this also uses a sensor and dries it until it detects that everything is 100% dry to prevent odors or any bacteria from growing. This machine cleans and sterilizes so well that it actually has a certification that certifies it for being safe for mothers and infants. Definitely great to see this as it's always better to see actual data and certifications rather than just random marketing claims. Last but not least, this has 60 minutes of battery life. It's unlikely anyone is going to be mopping for 60 minutes straight, so this is definitely more than enough battery. Keep in mind the vacuum is stored on the charging base, so charging is not something you ever have to worry about. Just put it on the base, and the next time you need to clean, it'll be topped off and ready to go. Overall, this is definitely one of the best mopping vacuums on the market. The Narwhal S10 Pro was already the best one I tested before but now they took things a little further and made it even better. So overall, if you happen to be shopping for a mop and vacuum combo, I would highly, highly recommend this one here, which again is the Narwhal S20 Pro. If you would like to purchase or get more information on this vacuum, I put a link in the description, and then I also shared a promo code for additional savings as well. All right, well, that about wraps up this video. As usual, if you have any questions at all, feel free to drop me a comment and let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.